Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Going to the weather now. It has been a beautiful day out there, Tyler. Not a bad thing to have on a Saturday here. Yeah, and we have another nice one coming up tomorrow. Only a small exception, and that'll be a shower later in the day. But even right now, it's mostly dry, and there's only like three showers on Storm Tracker. We'll show you them here. They are in southern Essex County. One over Scroon Lake. There's another moving over Lake George, just south of Haig. That'll move into northern Rutland County here soon. But other than that, it's a dry night. It is a humid night. Notice this batch of showers here over the northern Great Lakes. That comes in tomorrow afternoon, first over northern New York, and then it comes into Vermont. But I think it's pretty late in the day, so most of the day will be dry, especially the farther east you are. The showers come in later. And then it gets hot for early next week. The storm threat not coming back till Tuesday and especially Wednesday, and that's when we'll break this latest stretch of heat. Look at this beautiful shot over downtown Plattsburgh, the sailboats in the distance, the boat basin there with the red and green lights on top of it. Temperature 67 at the airport. There's not much wind, but the dew point is 65, which is good for quite humid across the area. 75 is the temperature in Burlington. We have 68 in Saranac Lake, 66 in uh, Montpelier, I should say 68 in St. J, also in Lebanon. Future cast shows a dry start tomorrow. There are certainly some clouds around. It won't be a totally sunny start. Watch what happens though through the afternoon hours. A little bit more in the way of clouds by three o'clock, still mainly dry. And then we're watching the showers come across the Canadian border there up by Messina. And they keep shifting south and east as the day goes on, even into tomorrow night. So. That's what we're looking at tomorrow. And then I think Monday is mostly dry before we have a few pop up storms on Tuesday, only increasing heading into Wednesday and it's hot. That's why we'll have some pop up storms. Monday is 90. Tuesday is 92. If we have those two 90 days, that'll be 20 90 degree days this year in Burlington, which is way above the average of just six and I want to give you a sneak peek at the long range. This is mid August, August 16 through 22. So basically starting next weekend and beyond, it's still an above average forecast, which means highs will be well into the 80s for a long time for the foreseeable future, even though the average high starts to fall in the upper 70s. Tonight we have a little bit of humidity, 60s in the Champlain Valley and then the highs tomorrow very close to where they were today, 85 the high in Burlington. Again, sun mixed with clouds, trending towards more clouds later in the day. We'll be watching for a few of those showers moving in over northern New York first, then into Vermont, southern Vermont highs near 81 and Ludlow 84 at Escutney. So here's the five day forecast. Couple of storms Tuesday. The most storms though will be on Wednesday. That's when a cold front goes through. It might have a little trouble actually clearing the area though. So we'll still paint in a few showers in the morning on Thursday and then it dries out towards the end of next week and next weekend. Dave. Thanks. Ty